What's up my beautiful people, welcome back to my kitchen. Today on the menu, we have some oven baked red snapper. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Hi, my name is Roy And I represent Kenny Good Vibes TV Please hit the subscribe button So I have here Three beautiful red snapper I'm gonna go ahead and Wash them properly Make sure everything Is scraped out from inside Check if there is any excess scale. And of course, we're gonna cut off all those fins and the tail and all the unnecessary bone that's on there. See how sharp those look? We don't want that on there, it's very dangerous. So after I clean up and cut off all that, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my fish with some lime. This is to kill all the rawness and make it taste real fresh and nice. So I'm gonna go ahead with my two pieces of lime and wash them properly. After washing them, I make sure I get a piece of napkin and dry them off properly before I add the season. So here I have the season I'm going to use. I have some black pepper, some all-purpose. I got some, got some chili powder, garlic powder, and some salt. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and get my season all over these red snapper. But when you're doing red snapper you wanna make sure you season them properly. Make sure the season get inside out. No matter what, baking, frying, steaming, make sure it is well seasoned. And that's what gonna give you the flavor and make it taste the right way. After I put all my season like this. I'm gonna go ahead and rub them together. Rub in just to rub in the season. Make sure the seasoning get in there properly. As I say, the seasoning of the fish is the key. That's the key part of it. I'm gonna slip the side, give them a, a few cuts on the side so that they can cook evenly. Meanwhile, I'm doing that, I make sure I rub the season in. As I said before, the key part is the season. Here you have it. I'm gonna go ahead with my green and yellow bell pepper, tomato, I've got Irish potatoes, onion, and scotch bonnet pepper, which is optional. The scotch bonnet pepper is definitely optional. I got two cloves of garlic, some okra and some string beans and a piece of thyme of course i'll go ahead and cut the bell pepper my favorite way you can cut it however you want if you're about to try this dish i just cut them in a long way shape like this so they look nice Go ahead and 
cut my tomatoes because I want some red, some color in there. And tomato is a really nice flavor, always good for your pot. Scotch bonnet pepper now, I'm gonna put half of it. Not all of it and I'm not putting the seeds in there because I don't want it to be really spicy. Cut up my onion. And all these are optional. It all depends on what you want to taste when you're eating your fish. If you feel like you want to try this recipe. Trust me, this is a win-win. Baked stuffed fish. Oh my god. Can't lose half of the one anymore. So I cut up my Irish potato in a dice shape. Just to get something to eat when you're eating that fish you know <laughs> it's gonna go along with some white rice though cut up my garlic real fine and then cut my okra however you want to cut it this is my style when you're dealing with fish after have some okra I'm gonna go ahead and cut my string bean the same way. The reason why I cut all of them about the same size is because I want them to cook even. There you go, the red snapper, guys. Who, who is afraid of the eye? Let me know who is afraid of the eye. <laughs> yeah. Nice and beautiful vegetable. All this is gonna go along with my fish and some white rice. Here I'm cutting up the stuffing for the fish. Of course, I gotta cut them a little bit smaller. Just to stuff that fish properly. So I'm putting some bell pepper, I'm putting some garlic, and I'm putting a piece of lemon. Just to make sure it kill that lowness. And I also add some tomato. So there you have it. Ingredient ready. Man, three beautiful red snapper. So I'm gonna put the season in the pan that I took the red snappers from. Mix them around just to get that excess season out the pan and on my green season. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff these red snapper with all that I just cut up. Put a piece of lime in there, kill that rawness. And to make that stay together, I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of butcher card and tie my fish. This is optional too. You guys don't have to do this, you can just put it in the oven just like that. But I don't want anything to fall out. But you know, when you eat, take that fish and open up. So I'm just tying them. This one is big so I'll give it three. The other ones are small so I'm gonna give it two. And there you have it. Three beautiful red snapper ready to go in the oven. So, I put a piece of file paper in my oven pan, big enough size one, so the fish have space. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven for at least 20 minutes. Can go up to 25 minutes too, but 20 minutes is good. So, time for me to saute up my vegetable for the side. So here I have all that cut up cut up that I had there, pour them into a pot, 
look a cooking aisle and just start stirring those get everything together uh, cover it up for at least five minutes so it's been up some heat then open back that and add some seasoning to it of course you want to add some all-purpose seasoning some lemon pepper some black pepper probably a little chili powder probably a little obey I mean you don't have to put so much at once but it all depends on how you like your taste you can substitute the season put whatever seasoning you like just to get it perfect the key thing about cooking is the seasoning you can cut up anything put in a pot cook it fry it whatever but the seasoning is what give it the flavor and the taste so i've learned to catch the flavor yes sir look at my fish after 15 minutes i'm gonna give it a little more time as i said this is going along with some white rice just plain white rice nice and chilly That's my fish after 20 minutes, 22 minutes to be exact, ready to go, looking wonderful, time for me to dish out some, don't get eating guys, I'm going to cut out these strings after they are ready, of course you don't want the string on there, but the string keep everything intact. Smell this. This smells so. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and add my saute vegetable on the side. Wow. Beautiful plate, huh? Yeah, man. I can't good vibes, TV. You know. Mess a big up to everybody who watched this video. Like, share, just leave a comment. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please, where are we Hit the subscribe button, man. Kenny Good Vibes TV saying, wow, look at that, can you hear me now?